Hi, my name is Corey Jones and I am reading for Hotspur, Site 1. My liege, I did deny no prisoners. But I remember when the fight was done, when I was dry with rage and extreme toil, breathless and faint, leaning upon my sword, came there a certain lord, neat and trimly dressed, fresh as a bridegroom, and his chin new reek showed like a stubble land at harvest home. He was perfumed like a milliner, and twixt his finger and his thumb he held a pouncet box, which ever and anon he gave his nose and took it away again, who therewith angry. When it next came there, took it in snuff, and still he smiled and talked, and as the soldiers bore dead bodies by, he called them untaught knaves, unmannerly, to bring a slovenly, unhandsome corpse betwixt the wind and his nobility. With many holiday and lady terms, he questioned me, amongst the rest demanded my prisoners in your majesty's behalf. I then, all smarting with my wounds being cold, to be so pestered with a popinjay out of my grief and my impatience Answered neglectingly, I know not what he should or he should not. For he made me mad to see him shine so brisk and smell so sweet and talk so like a waiting gentlewoman of guns and drums and wounds, God save the mark, and telling me the sovereign's thing on earth was Palmerston on an inward bruise. And that it was great pity, so it was, this villainous saltpeter should be digged out of the pals of the harmless earth, which many a good tall fellow had destroyed so cowardly. But for these vile guns, he would himself have been a soldier. This bold, unjointed chat of his, my lord, I answered indirectly, as I said. And I beseech you. Let not his report come current for an accusation betwixt my love and your high majesty. Thank you.